Hey guys, RC here. We are back. It's episode 18 of Play the Kids. We are with Tiverton Town and the Tivies are doing very well. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here and want to see more of it. Don't forget to subscribe for daily football manager content as well. Uh, let's take a quick look before today's action. So we are set for a record point haul, a club record. We're on 81 points. The record is 87, and we're only in February. So I think we've got plenty of time to get six more points. Uh, also, we are on 26 match wins this season. Our club record is 27 so we might break that this episode. <laughs> uh, although one of those is a cut match. I don't know if that counts. Uh, Tim Cook uh, could be the South Vanarama South leader for assist. He's got 13. The record is 14 set by Chris Morales. Uh, and that was two years ago, 2063-64. So that is good. We are going to have highlights from Farnsboro, and then we will be playing our cup match against Bellaricky. Uh, but in the last three episodes, a 5-1 win, a 5-0 win over Chesham. Uh, Robin Mudge with a hat trick in that one. A 3-1 victory over Chippenham. Tim Cook with a brace and a 3-1 victory over Wemeth. Uh, Robin Mudge and then Ethan Bryant got on the score sheet. Some news, Mr. Bryant. Playing very well. Three goals, one assist in eight starts. Uh, let's take a look. We've gotten him to sign a new contract, and it is a fully blown part-time contract, $450 a month with an appearance and an unused sub fee. So now we have him tied in under an actual contract. So that's good. I don't know if maybe I just needed to offer more money. I don't know what I was looking at. But uh, anyway, we got him to sign. I wish I could have done that with those two guys that we already lost, especially Davies. But I think both of those guys could, could have been performers for us. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and check out last episode because we talk about the two players that we have lost. Barnborough are fourth in the table heading into this match. There you see Cook finding Williams up ahead. He breaks into the box, and then from the edge of the box, he beats Ivy and Grant for the goal, and it's Tiverton 1, Barnborough 0. Williams steps up to take a penalty in the 39th minute and gets his second. A wayward pass by Waldron into Mudge. Mudge gets the shot deflected away, and Nuevo, in the number 10 today, slots that home for a goal. Tim Cook was sent off with a straight red card in this one, so that is uh, disappointing, but uh, luckily it was later in the game, and uh, looks like Williams back on the boil. It took him a couple of matches to get... He had to get back up into fitness, and he is now sitting on 31 goals from 26 matches, looking really stellar. We've made up a couple of we've made up the games in hands, and we have in fact made up that six points that we talked about last episode, and now sit on a 21 point advantage in the league for automatic promotion. We were only supposed to finish mid table. So we are almost 40 points. We're 36 points clear of mid-table. What an insane season. All right, well, let's get back for Bellaricky. We'll have the kickoff right now. All right, we're going to go with Humphreys in goal. The standard back four, Hugel, Hemmings, Tierney, is Cuierdo. Ireland, Bryant, and White in the mid. Bryant dropping back into the central mid. Uh, that leaves Nuevo in the number 10 with Cook sidelined with suspension today. And Mudge and Williams up top. We'll go with the revenge factor. Being the last time we played Bellaricky, they beat us. Let's encourage them. Is Cuierdo. We get the first highlight of the match. Back to Bryant. Squared over to Hugel. 
Bryant with a quick one touch. And there's the shot, but it goes wide of the mark by Ireland. But we look pretty good there in the early minutes of the match. Hopefully we can keep that up. Oh, you know what? I do want to drop in here. I just want to drop that tempo just a smidge. All right, over the top, Hemmings misses the ball. Doyle does a flick on header. Humphreys controls it easily. There's a nice little header by White. Williams breaks through the tackle. White into the attacking third. Williams is there and just off the mark. Oh, we need to put one of those into the back of the net. Uh, Graham Williams says he wants to come off. Let's take a quick look at what the issue is with him recovering from a knock. Well, let's, God, you know, I hate to risk him getting hurt, but he's not even showing an injury. So let's see if he can recover from that. See, he's not even showing as an injury. A long throw to nobody. Bryant gets back in the central mid to control it. Finds White. Back into Bryant. Back out to White. Bryant on the overlap is Cuierto, and the header from Ireland goes off the woodwork. Oh, my goodness. All right, Williams is recovering. Ireland is tired. He's a fitness issue right now. Oh, a little back heel kick to clear it. That was interesting, and that had to be offsides. And it was disallowed, thankfully. That was a nifty little back heel clearance, though. Wow. Yep. Offsides, just a step. Hopefully Ireland can recover a little bit of his fitness at halftime. We'll take a look. Uh, let's see. If we jump into the tactic, he is not. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pull him off. We'll move White over. And, wow, I don't have anybody there, do I? Shoot. I'm going to bring Bissex on for Ireland. He, uh, he's not a natural out there, but he is. he can play. Um, but let's maybe, let's drop him to support. And let's drop, yeah, let's do that. All right, go back out there, grab that one goal. Let's encourage him. Come on, boys. We're not playing badly. All right, Hemmings is down. All right, there's Williams. Let's go ahead and sub him off. The only guy I've got to, with Cook out, the only guy I've got to come in is Rui Martins. We, he hasn't played a lot, so let's go ahead and bring him on up there. Now, oh, Bryant and Nuevo are both tired. All right, what do we want to do there? I'm going to bring Bryant up into the number 10. Let's bring John Bliss on into that deep-lying playmaker role. Let's make him a ball-winning midfielder. Kind of throw a, throw a monkey wrench into the tactic here. All right, Bliss. Near post, and it goes over by Tierney. Come on, boys. Hugel. Four throw right to an opponent. Tackled away, it goes right to the defender. Another tackle, he fights through it. Another tackle, oh my goodness. But none of the tackles for our club ever go to one of our players. They always either go back into the attacking area, and that was an offside, yes. Doyle offsides, and extra time, okay. Uh, let's go to the dressing room. Can we make a sub here? I don't know if we get another sub. Do I want to make another sub? Let's bring Allard on for Hemmings. Well, mm, let's bring him on for Tierney. Yep, yeah, let's do that. And can I bring Taylor on? Can I bring him on for Hugel? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. 
All right. Inspired and motivated, so they're good on that. I'm going to go back to balanced. We've had 12 shots. Just not making a whole lot count. One minute of stoppage time. There's a flick on header. Mudge is on it. Put it in, Mudgy. Ah. Oh. Off the mark. Oh, we need to steal one like that. All right, let's praise them. All right, come on. Bliss. Near post. And it's off the woodwork. Off the woodwork. Hemmings is about dead. He's on his last legs. Flick on header. Hemmings is there. Poor, poor ball up into the attacking third. All right, Allard. Bliss is on to it. Bryant loses it. Oh, no. White with the tackle right to the defender, and the header goes over, and he was on sides, it looks like. And that's full time. So even with the stoppage time, we're going to have another replay. Unlucky just wasn't our day. So I guess that will be a replay. We don't go to penalties in this. That's really it's weird. Definitely weird. Rotherham fires their coach. Leeds coach is on the way out. Tottenham's coach possibly on the way out. Oh, poor finishing. And that's... All right. Where are we... Well, we replay them right away. All right, we're going to go with Humphreys in goal. Hugel, Allard, Tierney, and Taylor on the back line. Hemmings is injured with a slight injury, and we've sent him on a rest for six days because he's breaking down. Uh, Ireland, Bliss, and Bliss Cotterell. Nuevo, Mudge, and Williams. We've got Cook on the bench, but, you know, uh, th he is suspended for the next league match for a red card and he's also got a additional two matches uh, for the foul uh, that we have appealed nothing's going to come of the appeal i've never had an appeal overturned so <laughs> i'm not expecting this one but you know just don't want to lose one of our top scorers for any longer than necessary right so this is a replay of the FA Trophy against Bellaricki. Uh, we drew last time, and hopefully we can get something done here. And we do pull an early highlight. Taylor finds Bliss Cotterell. There's a cross in. Back post, and it's in by Ireland. His eighth of the season, and we miss him when he is out. Uh, he's had a couple of suspensions, a couple of injuries this year. And, uh, yeah, we definitely miss him when he's out. So that's huge to get an early goal there. Hopefully we can hold on now. All right, we give the encouragement shout there. Tierney, there's Williams. He is through. Oh, man. And uh, three shots by our front three players, and two are blocked, and one goes sailing through the uprights for three points. Oh, that's wrong football. And there's a header, and it's Eden Allard filling in for the injured Hemming, and he puts it in for a goal, and it's the Tivies 2, Bella Ricky nil. Now Allard just charges into that channel, finds Byram, and puts it in past uh, the keeper. Five shots, two on target, and it's 2 to nil away. We are looking real solid here. This would be worth the replay, I guess. They've only managed one shot in front of their home crowd. Looks like a foul there. Allard's going to play it up. It goes past Williams, and there's the shot. Robin Mudge, 25th goal of the season. Allard gets the assist, and I think... I think it was Williams that just drew that defender out of position and just psyched him out. He just like blocked him, and the <laughs> that was great, and just allowed Mudge to run right onto that ball. And it's Bellaricky nil, Tiverton three, and we're still in the first half of this replay. 
Things are looking really good here. Oh my goodness. Definitely a game that has uh, gone our way. Keep them motivated, please. We're going to give them a praise this time. We're back with another highlight. Possibly. This could, you know, you've seen enough football manager, you know, you know that could go the wrong way very quickly. Oh, the little flick on header. Mudge is unmarked at the spot, and he's got a brace now. Bella Ricky nil, Tivy's four. This has got to be, well, no, I'm not even going to even dare say that. Not going to say it. Because we have seen a five-goal lead go disappearing with this club. All right, let's pull Ireland off. Gwyn, I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Gwyn or Gwyn? I'm going to say Gwyn. I don't know. You guys let me know. Gwyn, we're going to give him his debut. Yeah, he can't tackle where the crap. I've been getting a lot of pressure from uh, Aaron Lowe's manager. Uh, and then he's been training poorly. You know what? Let's bring, uh, nah, we're going to leave him on the bench. Let's bring him on for Luis Nuevo. Let's bring Brian on there. I think that'll be a good move. He'll slot up into that number 10 spot. Not a whole lot happening. 77th minute. It's over the top. Williams and just the side foot into the goal. That's number 38 on the season as he finds the score sheet. Got this little gnat right around my desk, and it's uh, really annoying me. What a finish by Williams there. Oh, uh, there's Paige. There's his debut highlight. Bryant over the top to Mudge. Oh, uh, the run by Bliss Cotterell, and it's deflected by the keeper for a corner. 12 minutes to play. 5-0 to Tiverton. All right, they get a little counter opportunity. But there's only one man up. And he cracks it at Humphreys from way outside. We'll take that. All right, let's go ahead and sub off Hugel here. And he's on the left side. Let's bring Izquierdo on and then swap the side. You know what? This would be that opportunity, right? So let's leave him on the left. Let's bring, let's switch Bliss and Paige and let them play out of position. This will we'll give him a few minutes of, uh, you know, just playing around a little bit. And there we go. Bella Ricky nil, Tiverton five. 18 shots, a 2.13 XG. What a game for us. We're going to go outstretched arms. Pleased, keep them motivated. And that gets us through to the semifinals, I believe. So, uh, yes, that was the quarterfinal win. We get 14,000 for that. Page makes his debut. And waiting for us is Boromwood in the semifinals. And that's a, that's a game that we could win. Development. Let's send him on a vacation. I've heard doing vacations is better than actually resting. Don't know if that's true or not. But uh, let's see. Mudge, we're going to congratulate him. All right, let's see when that match is scheduled to take place against Borum. And it's a two-leg affair. So we've pretty much got, you know, the league looks real solid. We do have a lot of games to play. We haven't sewn anything up yet. But I'm going to concentrate here on the trophy going in, you know, for the end run. So let's come back. We'll play Borum Wood. Uh, we'll look at first leg highlights for the home leg. We'll play out the second leg on camera unless we just blow them away. And then we may... I don't know. We probably still are going to play them. Um, but let's do that. That'll give us another four games plus Thurrock in between the two two uh, parts of the video. And uh, then we could, pr you know, we'll come back for the finals or the season finale. Um, unless we have a chance to climb the podium at some point. If we have a chance to clinch the league, uh, then we will come back for that. Just out of curiosity, five, six, 
We've got 14 matches left. That's 56 points. No, wait, 14. 42 points to play for. Is my math right there? 42? Yeah, so there's, no. 14, 28, yeah, 42, 42 points. We could end up on 130 points if we went out. That would be crazy. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're up 20 points right now, which is seven games. So at some point, we are going to have the possibility to climb the podium. I'll make sure we come back for that because I think that's something we, you know, that's good to watch. All right, guys, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new and for daily football manager content. And we'll see you guys next time around. Have a good one. Bye.